Hey everyone, my name is Brian, and today we're going to be talking about why you need to plan for your gutters if you plan on purchasing a Tesla solar roof. If you find this video useful and ultimately decide that a Tesla solar roof is right for you, please use my referral code below and you can save $500 in your purchase. All right, let's get into it. All right, so firstly, why are we talking about gutters? Well, even though the solar tech is really cool, what's not cool is having water in your home. So to quote the famous Alan Iverson, we talk about gutters, not the roof, we talk about gutters. That's right. All right, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the questions I've received so far about gutters, and there's been quite a few, and I'm gonna answer them in a very um, short fashion. Um, if you wanna stick around, I'll go through the questions one more time in a sort of a more long-winded version. And then lastly, I'll, um, we'll take a, a, a lap around the house and, and show you what everything looks like. Okay, so first question. Does Tesla require that you remove your existing gutters? The answer is yes and no. Will your existing gutters work? Possibly. Will your house be okay without gutters? Probably not. What size gutters does Tesla recommend? Unofficially, a six inch commercial grade gutter. How long does it take to source a six inch gutter? Uh, longer than you'd like. And will the snow uh, potentially damage your new gutters? Yeah, quite possibly. Okay, so as you can see, things are a little ambiguous. Um, so let me give you the, long, the longer version. So does Tesla require that you remove your existing gutters? Um, the answer for me was yes. So I elected to have a roof replacement done. My existing roof was 25 years old and as were the gutters. And prior to installation, my Tesla account rep had said that the gutters need to be removed, needed to be removed. And so when the demo crew came out, they took my old roof, um, they took it off and they also took the gutters. The next day when the Tesla install crew arrived, they had made an offhand comment that, oh, you actually don't need your gutters to be removed. They, they can proceed with the installation just fine, even if they're there. So I thought that was interesting. Um, you know, for me, it doesn't change things. Uh, I think um, you know, my gutters were not in good shape and um, I think it was the right move to replace them. But, you know, maybe you're in a different situation where you're putting the solar roof over your existing roof or maybe you recently had your gutters redone um, and they're in good condition. So. If that is the case, I would recommend uh, pushing back on the Tesla wrap and finding out if it really is necessary to remove them. Um, so the second question, can your existing gutters work? Um, I think the answer is it depends. I think it's going to depend on your climate, how much rain you get, probably the, the slope of your roof, and also how wide your existing gutter is. So the reason that I think they recommended a six inch gutter, six inch gutter is because uh, the water sets off the solar roof really quickly. And having a wider gutter is basically acting like a wider net and is able to catch that water. Will your house be okay without gutters? For me, the answer is uh, a resounding no. Um, naively, I thought we'd be okay. So after the installation, I plan on calling a local gutter company and getting quotes and, and do, doing things sort of serially one after the other. Um, and uh, I, I learned the hard way that um, at least my house absolutely needs gutters because without them, water started pooling um, in places where it didn't normally pool, started getting into the basement. And so um, every time it rained, my wife and I were out um, in the freezing December rain. Uh, unfortunately, it was very rainy, um, actually immediately after we had our roof done and we had tarps and buckets and doing our best just to keep water away from the house. Um, so. My main recommendation is if you, if you are going to have your gutters replaced, um, you know, that's going to be your responsibility to manage that. So I would get ahead of it um, you know, a couple months prior to your scheduled installation, get some quotes, find your installer, and then try to get the scheduling um, you know, within days um, following your, you know, when your Tesla solar roof is, installation is complete. Um, and then you can avoid uh, some of the nightmare um, and, and pain that, that I went through. Um, and then what, again, what size gutters Tesla rec recommend? I, I went digging through the website. I didn't see anything, but, um, you know, the six inch that they recommended that we ended up getting, 
uh, seems to work great. How long does it take to source a six inch gutter? For us, it took about four to six weeks um, due to supply chain issues. And I presume that's still the case today. So again, um, I recommend sort of getting ahead of this, um, trying to get your order in well ahead. Um, that way um, you'll be ready to go right after your installation completes. Will the snow uh, cascading off the roof, um, will those avalanches damage your new gutters? Um, for me, the answer was, yeah, uh, a little bit. Um, so most of the gutters um, that are, that go, my gutters go all around the house and all four sides. But in particular, there's a channel on our house and um, there's a splash guard that sticks up above the, um, above the gutter. And that prevents water from cascading onto the walkway below. And um, that was the piece that had gotten steamrolled by some snow and sort of got flattened. Uh, the good news is in the spring, I was able to climb up there on a ladder and prop it back up to its original position. I also reached out to the installer and told them about the problem. They came out and sort of added some reinforcements. Um, long term, uh, I, I suspect I, I might continue to have problems in that area. But I think, um, you know, aside from that, I, I think the gutters are going to be just fine. Okay, so let me give you a quick rundown of, of what we have and what we're looking at here. So um, this is a seamless six inch black gutter. Um, it was kind of cool that actually they, they printed it on site, if you will, printed. Um, they had a big van and uh, so the front of the house, it's, it's one continuous piece, which I love the aesthetic of. I think it looks great. Um, one of the other things we did too is where the gutter attaches to the house, um, they call it like the fascia, um, which is visible from when you're standing below the house. Um, and so we actually had them replace that as well. Um, my understanding is, you know, from the installer was, um, if we didn't do that and we later, you know, we, we do plan on updating the siding and the rest of the trim, um, they'd have to pull the gutter off, update the fascia, put the gutter back on, and, and there's a chance that the gutter could get damaged. And because we have these really long, uniform pieces of gutter, which look amazing, um, you know, we just did it and, and uh, we updated it at the same time. So the whole, the whole gutter installation process took just a couple days. It was a piece of cake compared to the uh, solar roof installation. And like I mentioned, uh, they've been working great. So um, so that so that's it. Um, I hope you found this video useful. I, I hope you can avoid some of the same mistakes that I made. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave a comment below. All right, until next time. Thank you.